So if you figured out how to do basic input, the, probably the next obvious question is going to be, what do I do with it? How do I format user output? So you see we have this example from getting user input where we just ask for a name. And uh, when we run this, it asks for a name. We put in our name, Mr. B, and it comes right back out exactly like we put it in. That's that print statement. So now I'm going to do a little bit more. After I print this variable, I want this variable in a user message. So I'm going to print this variable in a user-friendly message. All right, so my variable is whatever's in user input. Remember, that's my bag. It's holding whatever I've put in from the keyboard. Um, and maybe in this case, I want to say, uh, like, hello, B, how are you? All right, well, that's easy. Inside my print statement here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a quote. I'm going to say, hello, and close it in a comma. Now, let's break this down. Anything inside the quotes is a literal, right? So my string literal, anything inside here is going to print. So if I take this user input out for a second and I run this thing, I put in my name, whatever that, oops, whatever that name may be, and it'll do out, it just says hello, right? So when I add this next part, this is my comma, which says I'm going to put something else in there. And now I'm going to put my variable. Oops, user input. Now it'll say string literal my variable. Watch. Okay. Enter your name. If I could learn to type over here on the left side, Mr. B. And it says, hello, Mr. B. Cool, right? And if I want to do more, that comma lets me do more. So I could add a comma. And uh, maybe I want to end my sentence, so I'll put a period. Remember, everything inside those quotes is literal. Period. How are you? Question mark. And I can see those are inside of quotes. I've got a comma between each one. I have to have that comma to say something else is coming. And now when I run it, enter your name, Mr. Gosh darn it. Let's try this again, Mr. B. And it says, hello, Mr. B, how are you? Awesome. Now, there's only one other little thing I can see here that kind of bugs me. Um, there are too many spaces, right? Those spaces aren't in here. I didn't put those spaces right there. So what happens is Python automatically puts a space anywhere it sees a comma. Now, the problem is I can't take the comma out because if I take the comma out, you can see I get an error, right? Actually, you probably can't because it's right behind me. Let's start that again. There you go. You can see I get an error. So the easiest way to deal with that, clean that up, clear, clear, there we go, is to tell Python to treat those commas as something else. So I'm going to put something else in here. So I need another comma. And now I'm going to use the command SEP, that's separator. And my separator is going to be assigned the value of nothing. How do I know it's getting assigned nothing? Because there's nothing in between there. Right? So now when I run it, I hit Mr. B. Pick that out of there. Try this again. Mr. B. I can see now my periods are where they're supposed to be. Now, if you don't believe me, let me just show you. If I were to put XXX, watch. Everywhere there's a comma, you're now going to see XXX. Right? So all that sep does is it says replace the separator. And in this case, we're replacing the separator with absolutely nothing. So that way, anything we type is literal. So you can see that it all comes out nice and clean with the commas and periods and everything exactly where I want them. So that's super easy, friendly user output. Uh, you'll do that in virtually every assignment. Um, so hopefully that'll help you out.